Some students are planning to skip the beach and focus on spending time with family. I'll be going back to Atlanta, Georgia for a couple of days and then to Washington, D.C. We're going to go to the African American uh, Museum that just opened and we are also going to try to tour the White House and just take in the sights of D.C. Others aren't as lucky because they have to accommodate work. I work for a company in Austin, a construction company. Um, now if we have a job in San Marcos, I'll be down here or in Austin or San Antonio because we kind of work all over. But uh, I really won't know where they send me until they send me there, but I'll be working. Some San Marcos hotspots are expecting to see an increase in traffic. We have lines of like 15, 20 people at a time and we have two to three people in the trailer working with us. So we definitely get a lot of people and a lot of people coming from like the river, all different kind of stuff. Even people from New Bronzeville travel all the way down here just to get snow cones. Others are planning an eventful week during their vacations. Corpus Christi and um, go down to the beach there because I have grandparents that have a house down there. Um, so spend time with family, uh, a lot of baseball, it's my favorite thing, and then the beach. While many plan to head to Austin for South by Southwest, a major hot spot here in town still remains the river. Seems like Bobcats have a lot of plans for spring break this year. While many are hitting the beach, others are choosing to relax by the river and soak up sun. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jasmine Clark. Tears were shed as family and friends stood to recognize their dead loved ones. The 30th annual Bobcat Paws honored 38 students and faculty who have passed away. Former student body president Andrew Hammond says the ceremony is important to bonding former and current Bobcats. I think it's a real important event to show that uh, we as a community are strong together and uh, we support the families of all Bobcats. The walls of the LBJ ballroom are lined with tables filled with pictures, candles and even favorite hats and flowers of the deceased. Renee Hill stood proudly behind a picture of her mother, a former professor. Hill says her mother's legacy will endure at Texas State. She was quite the historian. She could, she could tell you anything that you wanted to know about Texas State, back when it was Southwest Texas State University. The San Marcos High School Choir performed before the service and President Denise Trouse spoke about how much the past students and faculty meant to the university. Director of Bobcat Paws, Leanna Mouton, says everyone who attended the ceremony is connected. This event is so important to the families because it's a time for them to feel the community that is with them during these times. Um, it's a time for them to see the impact that their loved one truly had. The event instilled the importance of remembrance for families and offered comfort to those who mourn. For Bobcat Update, I'm JC Yarbrough. George's, located on the first floor of the LBJ Student Center, hosts a variety of events throughout the semester. For example, last Friday, it hosted a table tennis tournament. Players of all skill levels participated. George is partnering with them to host a table tennis tournament for three different skill levels, beginners, intermediate, and advanced players. The Texas State Table Tennis Association sponsored the event, its third tournament at George's. The association wants to acquire more tables and have even bigger gatherings. We need more tables, that's been the problem, but um, we were able to host a, a Bobcat table tennis tournament. Uh, last, our first one was last spring, and then we hosted one in the fall. The winners of the tournament will win a trophy in addition to other prizes, and of course, bragging rights. For Bobcat Update, I'm Chris White. And I was like, everyone knows hybrid cars use recyclable nickel batteries instead of lead, bro. You totally owned them, bro. Wait, this is a Prius, right? Yeah, after I read stats on the world's fuel emissions, I had to get this bad boy to be like my less fuel-emitting bros up in Norway and New Zealand. I mean, this bad boy kind of looks like a mom car. Oh, so moms and helping the environment is lame, bro? Let me tell you something, bro. Carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides from gas-powered vehicles is a major climate change contributor and harmful to human health. Really, bro? Yeah, bro. And not only is it lowering fuel consumption, it reduces the need for oil and saves you a bro amount of money. Wow. I'm definitely convinced, bro. Yeah, so be a bro and check out www.fueleconomy.gov to see how we can help our planet stay woke. Yeah! Our planet, our responsibility. A message from the other side of radio. KTSW 89.9.